to turn it on, you just have to tap this up there. Tap it? Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. And then you can try going the other way. You're trying to make it brighter. There you go. It's very interesting how there's an orange and a. I wonder if it makes it easier on your eyes. Oh, it's very nice. Mm. Well, it's so nice too because you can adjust it with that dial. Yes, I really like it. Okay, I've got Change my... zoom magnification. I think it looks good, don't you? I think so. Should we just start? Start. Okay. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Legacy Knits podcast. My name is Chelsea. My name is Sue. I'm the daughter. I'm the mother, grandmother. We are getting down to business today. Yeah, we have a busy day. But look at what we're wearing. Emergency snacks. Emergency snacks. We're going classic. People, why do they love when we have emergency snacks? They love it so much. Because that was that was the grounds with which we, we built started. our podcast. Bis yeah, and our business. And our business. Oh, we almost lost them. Rice Krispie treats. I've got a bit of cold coffee I've in my mug. Warm water. We originally thought we were going to be podcasting about two hours ago. Yep. But we are sitting in the basement, which mom is cleaning out at the moment, and we got real distracted. Yeah. Oh, real. so distracted. We have a dumpster. We love a dumpster. We love a dumpster. We love a good dumpster. Mm -hmm. And um, we are, our goal is to get rid of everything that we don't use, mm -hmm. whether it goes to Goodwill or dumpster. And most of the stuff I will say is going to Goodwill. The like dumpster, the dumpster is more for furniture that has like mold on it and stuff it, like that. Well, not quite mold, but tears. Didn't you say you're? I thought, like, and there wasn't. Oh, but yeah, tears, tears. It, it's so old. It's so beaten by the sun. We have an empty room upstairs, which nothing is making me happier. Oh my god! And guess what we discovered today? Mom has another vintage singer sewing machine. sewing machine that she didn't even know she had. We'll put a picture of it in sure here. Sure will. Here. You'll be looking at it right now as yeah. we're talking. Yeah, it's amazing. It was from Dave's aunt. Yeah. It is painted so beautifully. Mm -hmm. So I have three now. It's You have three? Why well, my little one that oh, I Oh, right, right, right. Use. right. Yeah. I was thinking vintage. You think um, I sewed? I mean, I you can. You do. A lot. And I'm going to get a few, well, I, we are going to get a few vintage, older, um, there's a vanity mm -hmm. that I'm going to be getting, and a dresser. From Mom Teresa. I've got an uh, an old ink blotter. From Grandpa. Great, great, two greats for you. Great, great, Grandpa. Would that be great, great? Is it, was it Grandpa North you said? Yeah. So yeah. Great. No, just great. Great. Sorry. Yep, and it's so funny because we chatted about this very briefly, but there was a time when you wanted nothing. I was like, leave me alone. I just want yeah. black and white things. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't. wanted nothing. Like, I had, like, really nice, like, things, and you were like, nope, nope. But I knew. I really did know. I was like, okay, that's all right, and mm -hmm. I'll just put it away for another year. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, I'm probably kidding. about five. Five years. Yeah. Five years, I would say. Mm -hmm. And now you guys want a few things. No, we don't. I'm not a big stuff person. No, it's more for me the things that like, because the way we're decorating our house is very like, uh, eclectic, like vintage farmhousey kind mm -hmm. of, but eclectic at the same time, mm -hmm. and so it just kind of fits. Whereas we were in an apartment for a few years, so it was oh, like yeah. we couldn't have done anything with it anyways. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, I'm so it's, excited. It's been a really fun morning. Yeah, and we had a really hard time stopping and sitting down. Yeah, but we knew we had and to we have work to do. Done. But I still want to do that. And honestly, it's been so long, and we have so many cool projects to show you and events that <gasps> yes. are coming up. <gasps> yes. So here we are. We're here. We're here with our. Look race what we're wearing. Yes. So we are wearing 
Sandy by the Lakesides, new aprons, which are sold out. So it's kind of a tease that we're showing them. They're coming back. They're coming back. They're coming back. I'm wearing the black one. Mom is wearing the blue, blue one. one. They are denim with um, leather accessories. There's a pocket. I am going to tell you the part that I love the most mm -hmm. is these are so long that you can wrap it around your back and tie it in the front. Anyone and who has worked in a kitchen or in a restaurant will appreciate, appreciate the long strap. So game. much. I was a cook for a long time. I was a server for. Her. I was that too, but we didn't wear aprons. We. So what did you do to write down your things? Like where did you put your pads of paper? I think we just did it by hand and we threw them on a counter. I don't remember having an apron. Oh man, I loved an apron. <laughs> Made yeah. me feel very like polished, unless I didn't have a clean one and oh, then dirty I felt like are a the loser. Worst. But I always tried to get past it, but yeah, dirty aprons were the worst. Are the worst. When I, I had hate... a crisp one and it like... <sighs> yeah. Those are the servers I want to come to my table. I, I will admit, because I was somewhere recently and the girl had on a very dirty apron and mm -hmm. I was like, ew, I wish she had a clean apron. I know. Now as a cook, mm -hmm. working in a kitchen, I always had white aprons that were filthy. Right. Filthy. But, okay, let's get back to what we're talking about. Sandy... Just did an update, they're gone. They're gone. But let's talk about it because first of all, we talked about this this morning on the live. Mm -hmm. Sandy sent it with a note, like I want you to wear this when you're dying. It was like, no, <laughs> not. Oh, hell no. Hell no is oh, what I did no. say. But I could if I wanted. I may get there, I'm not I think sure. You could. It's just too new right now. Yeah. But these leather straps adjust and you just take the apron off mm -hmm. to wash it. Cause it's haltered. Yeah. Like most aprons are. It's not like attached to the back yeah. or anything. Yeah. So you just take the strap off, you throw it in. And it has a nice it. little logo. I, I, I wish know. I could. And they probably look really good the more that you wash them. I know. Like most of her things, the more you use them, the, the nicer, better. like the more patina yeah. it is. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so, I know. We were talking about this this morning, how we think of Sandy every day, every day, multiple times a day, because we literally, I'm everything not even we you. use is hers. Yeah. Just wait, there's more. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I love those. I keep my AirPods in there, but I've been yeah. using them. Um, so yeah. Well, yeah. And I have, I have all of that. Plus what I use the most is my, my leather bag. Same, I just don't have it down here. And then I have her, her little zip Mm -hmm. Her little notions pouches. Notions pouches. I use one of them for like my money and credit cards. And then the best part is now that I am a library reader, mm. real book, not Kindle. Most of the time. Most of the time. She laminated me a hundred years ago mm -hmm. this piece of who's the artist that we love. Hang on. It'll come to me. Raven. Little Raven Ink. Yep. It's one of her characters. She laminated it, and it's a bookmark in every book I read. And so you read I, like two books a week. A so week. I'm almost to three. But oh um, so it's so bizarre. It's so bizarre. Sandy, like, you're everywhere. Like really, you would think you are our neighbor, Sandy. I mean, I consider her family. I do too. Honestly, I do. Yeah. So, anyways, her and Glenn and the boys. Okay. So that's what we're wearing and that's why we're wearing them yes. because we love them and we wanted to show them off. And men can wear them. Like she has oh, yeah. that great um, picture of her and Glenn with them on. A couple of them. They're fantastic. They're just, they're, they're fantastic great. all around. Great. Thanks, yeah, they're Sandy. very, we love, you. Yeah, we love you, Sandy. And then I feel like I have to show what I'm wearing underneath because I don't think I've ever <gasps> worn one of these oh, on yes. our podcast. It is something I knit out of our non-superwash merino fingering yarn and it is an, a breeze racerback by jesse may in tuxedo um, in our tuxedo colorway but as I we've love. mentioned a few times on our podcast our non-superwash merino takes the dye very differently so as you can see here it really like grabs and saturates in different places mm -hmm. and i just think it is like it's gorgeous it's like tie-dye but better it's funny how on the on the um on the film, it's showing the dark, dark burgundies as black. It's not black. Mm -mm -mm. Like if you turn around, you can see how there's that area looks so, it's not. No, it's just a very dark it's burgundy. A, it's really odd. Like I'm going, I don't remember it looking like that. Mm. And then I looked, it's just a darker burgundy. I live in these. I have two of these tank tops. So pretty. And I live in them. They are so cool. It feels like you're not wearing anything. I know. I love them. So I wish I would feel comfortable in some, I don't. It's just not my comfort. She has t-shirts too though. <sighs> she has a So Summer t-shirt that I'm going to be knit. I have to get a oh some oh. yarn for it. 
Oh, I might have to look at that because I'll be honest, I'm not great at keeping up with shaving my pits. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is I don't mind like if you like having armpit hair, like I totally get that and I like that look too. But for me, it's just not comfortable. Mm -hmm. Same. So it's either I'm totally shaved or I have like really long stubble, which looks kind of gross. <laughs> so I need to have a hand knit t-shirt for those days where I'm like, oh, I haven't shaved. I don't want to shave. I'm gonna throw a t-shirt on instead so I don't feel self-conscious. Yeah. That was probably TMI, but here we are. It's okay. It's here we, we are. are. Sorry. Okay. So this phase around me right now is so overwhelming. Looks a little different from the last time we podcasted, but you're also doing a deep clean. Yeah. It is my job to maintain the space and I haven't been here in a few months. Yeah, it is your job. It is my job. It is my job to maintain the space. So that is going to be one of the days where I can just kind of plug along, go bag by bag, get mm -hmm. the yarn rehung or organized yep. into our pop-up shop inventory. <laughs> yes. We're so excited about that. Okay. Should we talk about it Let's now? Let's talk about it. We're doing a pop-up shop at Must Love Yarn in Shelburne, Vermont on August 13th. The shopping starts at 10 a.m., goes till 2 p.m. If you're planning a summer vacation, I don't know why I'm talking in sing song. <laughs> But please consider coming up to Vermont and enjoying the beautiful summer weather oh, and all beautiful. the things that it offers, the hiking, the kayaking, just everything, the restaurants, the yeah. breweries, and then come see us. You know, because we're going to be in person. For the first time since the start of the, since before the start of the before, pandemic. Before, like probably, when did the pandemic start? Because we didn't do needles up, or did we, and then it happened? I don't think we did it. I don't think we I was, did pregnant with Charlie. No, no we did. We d seems like it wasn't that close, but we must we have. We did. We yeah. 100% did because I have photos where I was pregnant and Lily was also in them. Mm -hmm. So it must have been 27, no, 2019 was the last needles up. That was, so that was the last, last time we've been anywhere. That was our last vending. And now it is 2022. Yeah. We are We're putting ready a lot to do of it again. pressure on ourselves. People are going to be like, we're here. We'll be like, oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Here are our 10 skates of yarn. <laughs> No, but no, it's going to be gonna so be fun. fun. And we have other vendors that are going to be there with yes. us. Michelle is going to be there. Woolens and Nosh. Nosh. Mm -hmm. Fernbridge. Kelly's not going to be there. No, she's the she's, next weekend. She's, she's either the other person. Prior or the next. She's the next. Remember. Go to our social. Go to Instagram. You'll see. We or Actually, I might have only done a story. I will post it. We'll let you know. Because I can't remember who the other vendor is. But and if you follow Must Love Yarn, which you should. Yes, most definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So we have some really fun kits that we're bringing with that we will only be selling as long as there isn't any extra afterwards. And then we'll bring them home and, and sell the rest. Right. But they're pretty limited and it's not... So, okay, let's show them. Let's show and them. And then we'll talk about it. They're, they're so pretty. They're so gorgeous. Because this will be a good segue into the actual knitting, knitting too because I have... Oh! You need to get it together. I need to get it together. Get it together. So it's a skein of mohair, a skein of slub, and they're gorgeous. They're, go they're so much fun. I just had a bunch of slub left that I hadn't dyed, and I really just wanted to do something that was very kit-like for them. Because it is such a specialty yarn, really. It is. It is. So yeah, so I did this, and then Chelsea started making. So with just one of these, you, you can make... make a tassels in the sky shawl. I don't know the designer's name. I will put it on the screen here so you have all the information and it will be linked down below. Um, but I started the tassels in the sky on my train ride down. We didn't even talk about the train ride down. She came down on the train. On the train, six hours. So fun. It was really nice. But here is tassels in the sky. I'm using a uh, progress Keeper by Maria, our dear, dear friend. <gasps> oh, I of, love Maria's Progress Keepers. So I've got to get more because I need more. Oh, I have so many and I love them. What happens is I use them on like a sweater. Mm -hmm. I forgot to bring that down. Darn it. Um, I use it on a sweater and they're all used and a sweater takes a while. Mm -hmm. I see, love I them. I a few. I don't. I've got to order some. So you can see here, for some reason, when I was knitting this, all of the little slubs were situated towards the pearl side. But we were talking about this on our live this morning. I think I might just rock it on the pearl side. It's beautiful. It makes them stand out so much more. I agree. Now, I love the knit side. Don't get me wrong. But I just love the look of too. a reverse stockinette fabric. I don't, but I, I do too. with the slubs. It's just so I'm much so more surprised. pronounced. Yeah, I'm so surprised how much more I like that. 
Um, well, and so since I've started working on this project, I have decided I do want a sweater in our slub, but I want to pair it with the Surrey. Yeah. So I'm going to be seeking out, and if you know of a pattern, just I want it to be like a really loose, a lot of positive ease, like a raglan style sweater. You wanted a pullover or, or pullover a, for okay. sure. Because I love the Elton with it. I'm just such a pullover girl. Like you are. I'm a I'm more of a cardigan, which mm -hmm. is so good for just variety. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. Like I would love like a looser neck to it. I would love like the neck. See, I wish I was a bet. I was wish I was better with numbers because I would design it. I do not have any I desire. I think you Oops. could do no, wouldn't work. A love note. I want to do a love note with yeah, you cozy to. toes. Yeah, what I you're agree. doing, yeah. But like, I love the raw edge of this shawl. This is a free pattern, by the way. Like, I love how it like rolls a little. Like, I would love roll rolled edges for the sweater I'm gonna make oh, with this. So what about just a simple? Rolled collar, rolled sleeves, raglan. That's out there. That, I just don't know bottom. what it is. I've made them. I need to, if you guys know of a pattern that fits this description. Oh, who's the... And the, a fingering weight yarn. Please tell me. I totally know. I, rem I know what their patterns look like. They're very, very old school. I don't even know if they're still designing, but I used to make a lot of their sweaters. And remember I made for, for one Christmas that sounds really familiar. all those sweaters for all you guys, all, like, all the kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is it called? I don't know, but we will think on it. So I'm going to be knitting a sweater out of the slub paired with our Surrey because we're going to be ordering more Surrey today as it says on our nice new whiteboard over oh. there. Look at that. We can already check off the first one. Check. I know. Oh my God. Um, so anyways, though, this is what we're going to be using as a shop sample for our pop-up shop because it is the perfect way to use, to use these kits. Mm -hmm. Um, and also if you have like kiddos in your lives, I do think I'm going to end up borrowing the, or borrowing them, letting the girls use these in the fall and the winter because they're just, I just think they're so fun. Mm. They're very, um, they're going to be so warm, for colorful, them. super warm. Mm -hmm. And I think the girls would love playing with the little, yeah. like Lily with all of her tactile mm -hmm. would love to play with them. So anyways, yeah. and there's tassels on the end. I love the tassels. I know. So in the um, project page, like the actual designer's project page, the tassels are huge. I think I'm going to make mine smaller. I'm not a big, huge tassel fan. It just doesn't kind of fit with my... I don't know. I am, ever since I made the tassels that were the pom-poms for that best friend. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ever since then, because they weighed it down. Yes. And Which yeah. I like. We'll see. I'll probably test out a few different sizes, but it's a great pattern. It is so easy. I literally, I'm not even kidding you, downloaded it glanced at it, have never looked at it again. So I love that. It's so simple. I love that. So, so hence she's doing it completely wrong. Completely wrong. <laughs> the pattern looks nothing like That's this. That's something that I would do. I'd be like, I've got it. <laughs> They're doing it all no, wrong. I, I actually did lie. I glanced at it one more time as I was halfway through just to be sure. Oh, so it I looks perfect. perfect. It and looks of course it's in a Sandy bunny bag. Of course. Look at me. This is one of my favorites. I love that. I have that one at home too, except pinks and oranges. Yeah, I know. I got those on an update. So that's going to be at the show. Yes, it is. Which is so exciting. Non-superwash fingering weight yarn for mm -hmm. these because we'll have, oh, I don't want to be just plowing through my knitting. Do you, you want to show? I've because we... so little. No, what okay. I want you to show next because we're on the, the roll of yes. the show yes. is because you have the sample, right? Mm -hmm. Sure do. Yeah. Let me get it. Chelsea does a lot more knitting than me lately. Isn't that true? Kind of is. It is. You knit so much more than I do right now. I have been knitting another Sandy bag. That's one of the originals she gifted us. First one when ever, we first I think. started, yep. Because mm -hmm. I have one. I use it. Sit me a lot. The problem is I have stuff in mine mm. that I forget about. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I love these. I just so don't have sock much. blockers. But it's okay. It's okay. I don't think you really need them. I don't have them. So we are also going to be bringing what's left over of our sticker and sock club, our first ever one, which was um, spring showers was the theme. So you can kind of see them here. There you go. I love that. So you get a really nice sticker sheet, um, a stitch marker, which you can see in there. Kind you can of. take them out. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> Like, I'm like, Ugh. why is she not taking them? Strain. <laughs> oh my gosh, my brain. Oh, oh, our oh brain. see, look at, and I ripped the bag. It's all right, we have plenty more. I ripped it. Okay, so 
here's the skein of yarn. I, I have also done a ton of social media stuff around this because I had so much fun knitting it. Yeah. But here's the colorway. Gotta get my face out of here. There we go. I love this colorway so, so much. There we go. It's in our Steel Toes Fingering Weight Base. You get this awesome progress keeper, which I also brought with me from Vermont. Yup. It's, it's a, a little, hat. yep, a little sun hat, which matches the sticker oh, the sheet. Sticker. I love our stickers. Same. And this is from Sam's Tiny Trinkets. Samantha, who was amazing to work with. We had amazing. so much fun with her. So you can see there's a little hat there and I, as I was communicating back and forth with her, I said I kind of wanted something similar that matched the stickers and she just nailed it. So she nailed it. And you have the option if you like the brown heels, toes, and cuffs, you have the option of doing an add-on of that. And that's oh, our dry, dry roast. roast. So if you already have a skein of dry roast, just use set. the scraps. Or another color that you like that goes with that. Totally. Um, and I did the crunkled socks by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears, but I didn't do them all the way. So the pattern calls for the leg to have the pattern all the way around. Mm -hmm. I just did a panel in the front all the way down. Which honestly, for especially for the shorties, mm -hmm. I really like that. Same. I love shorties so much. I don't love them on me, mm -hmm. but I love knitting them. I love the look of them. I have to take this off. It's getting really hot in here. I know. It's really hot. I am hot. This room is usually um, cooler. I know. It's getting hot. It's getting summertime. Um, but I love the shorties so much. Same. So much so that I cast on another. Because when I finished these, I was like, you're like a knitting machine. I have been. You. It's amazing. So that pair is finished? Oh, yeah. Both of them. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I saw that. But yeah. That's the summer one, though, right? That you just showed. Yes. Oh, yes. I was yes, like, yes. I thought you just pulled those no, out. No, 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 no. I, I pulled these ones these. out. So, yes, this was my first pair of shorty socks, and I wasn't even particularly in the mood to knit socks, but I was like, I want to use this yarn. So I cast them on, could not put them down. Mm -hmm. It was like some, it sparked something in me. Well, the crunkle pattern is amazing. Is amazing. Amazing. I have a pair with that. Yes. Amazing. And so then I cast mm -hmm. on because we had released the um, Summer Sun collection, which mm -hmm. is golden hour which is what this is and then sunrise sunset which you have which we'll show have, next yeah and i had a skein of dk so i kind of like well, cast on a pair of shorty socks which again i've done some social media stuff on so you can go take a look in dk in dk Love. and it, i use the heel toe do -si do pattern by k litton who is the crazy sock lady oops there we go there now you can really get a sense for the color Oh, I love it. I did a um, short row heel, which is not what the pattern calls for, but because I was kind of fudging the numbers because it's a DK weight sock, the short row heel worked best. I have a project page with all the details and stuff like that, so you can go check that out. But I love these. I love them, and I love them on, and I love oh, I love them. I love how it like scallops the edge a little bit mm -hmm. up here. Oh, that pattern is so I, fun there are so many great sock patterns that are patterns not just vanilla right now that because you don't have to look at a pattern no and it's so funny because i've never been a sock pattern knitter. Oh, i have been i know and I i've always been, been like i don't get it it's they Ugh. can't be relaxing the minute i bound these off i was like i need i i i love this stitch pattern mm -hmm. so much that it felt like i was missing something because is that one a two row repeat I think you do the pattern and then a regular pattern. I think so. That yes. sounds right. So that is, and then the crunkle, I think, is a four row repeat. You just shift it. Correct. Yes. It's correct. and and again, you can read it. If you can read your knitting, your it's a piece of cake. They were so fun. I should actually. I was considering casting on another pair of shorty socks for the the train ride down, but then I cast on the shawl yeah. instead, and it worked out. But. Anyways, we have both of these yarns in the shop. And like mom said, we're going to be bringing these kits with yes. us. And are we going to be bringing these colorways with us? Yeah. And the Summer Sun collection yeah. will also be bringing yep. with us. Yep. And those are all in the shop now, too, if mm -hmm. you can't go. Mm -hmm. The only thing is if these sell out in the shop, unless we designate some just to bring and some for the shop. Yeah. Because there's not that many. But yeah, yeah, those were going to be done dying once they're sold out. So Yeah. 
Yeah, that one, the sock sticker clubs are exclusive to the club, mm -hmm. just so. Mm -hmm. See, which we have to start dying the second one. I know. Well, I'm waiting to hear back from Sam about the marker because she got COVID really bad. <gasps> there we go. Oh. Um, so, yes, we are going to do that as soon as we hear back from Sam. Perfect. So, yeah, keep Perfect. your eyes peeled for another sticker and sock club. Yes. So, let's keep going with socks because I have so many. Yes. And you have the, the matching. Yes. So, this is the... Um, Sunrise Sunset. And you can get them as full skeins, DK, or sock kits. Mm -hmm. This I actually have one of these. This is if you do a kit. This is the micro. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm going to just cover our faces because okay. it will only focus on us unless we do that. So that's the add on. It's not an add on. They either come full skeins or micro skeins. That's right. But a micro skein, skein it's very confusing to people. This micro skein set makes a pair of socks. A full, full pair. pair not one sock. sock. It makes a full pair. I mean, quite large. Not a man size, but probably well, like yeah, an eight. Well, yeah, I'd say. You think? Well, I would say it makes up to like a woman size nine or probably nine. I would say nine the most. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is the monkey sock, my favorite pattern by Do you Coquier. do the pearls or no pearls? I do the pearls. Pearls. I don't ever need to look at directions. You've made, so, I've made you've been knitting that so pattern many. So, and this is the first time I blocked a sock, mm. like really blocked it. What a difference that makes. Huge. So the second one is almost done. I actually was going to finish this when we were in Vermont, but remember, I couldn't find, find this it. One. Yes, where was it? It was here. Oh, it was at home. It was here. So <sighs> that is one of the socks. I have a lot of socks going right now. I know. Then you do. I have a crunkle Skittles. No, nope, that's not it. That's Imaginarium, which is yes. just as good. Skittles. A, I love to dye. Um, I think it's upstairs. I think it's all sold out, so I had to dye some more. It's all sold out. Okay. It is. I love this colorway because I love dyeing it, which I don't always love dyeing with that much color. Like, there's a lot of color in there. But it's so crisp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, there's no muddiness. There we go. No, it is so like a bag of Skittles. Uh -huh. Honestly, it really is. And that's so the beautiful. And I have another one. Like, mm. look at me. You're flying. I know. You but, are so good at being consistently productive with your sock knitting. Mm, thank I you for think thinking so. that. I think so. I don't think I am. What else? Do I, oh, do you have the... Oh, Imaginarium. Oh, yes. oh my gosh. I love Imagine. Oh, I'm going to let you. Yeah, I'll do this. I love Imaginarium so much. That's another crunkle. I, I went through a crunkled phase. It is so fun. It's like one of those patterns where once you cast it off, you're like, no, 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 no. I'm not done. Yes. I'm not done with that yet. Yes. So that's Imaginarium. And then the last one I have... I must have just been like, I'm going to cast these on crunkled. every... Now this is Kay's heel toe do -si do Oh, that's the same one that I know. Is this Wonder? That looks That like... might be the fairies no, one. No, yes, this is... Um... So we won't show that because you can't get that anymore. Yeah, you can't... Well... That wait, was, was it box. Summer Solstice? Yeah. Oh, yeah. For Sorry, summer Solstice, we sold it out. But it is a gorgeous... If you got the box and you're looking mm -hmm. to make something, it's a gorgeous one. Mm -hmm. the he and the pattern really is so much fun Now, to did it. I do... Heel toe do -si do isn't all the way around, Chels. No, I was talking about the crunkled for oh, that. Never mind. But the heel toe do -si do the numbers are for fingering weight. So I think what I did was I did the, so I cast on 48 stitches and then I did the 56 stitch repeat. So I did that in its entirety. The only thing that gets tricky is because I did, no, not 56. No, 48. Well, so, okay, but, 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 so she has a size for 56. Mm -hmm. so and you I, did 48. I did 48, but the panel, so half of 56. Is 28. Right, so I did 28 on the front, which left, so it's not half of the sock. This is so confusing. No, I don't, so what you had to do is you had to say, I want 48 stitches mm -hmm. total. Mm -hmm. How much is the stitch pattern? Right. And it's. How many? Let's, I think you said 28. 28. Yes. So then you just subtract 28 from 48 and whatever you have left. Is what I did for the heel. Yeah, so you can insert numbers as they apply for right. that. A lot of people would be fine with the 56 for the 
DK. DK. I probably could have gotten away with it, yes. but here I'll show you. Also, what size needles did you use? Size US 3s. Mm, yeah, it's pretty... Like, if I did any bigger, it wouldn't fit as nicely on my foot. Look at you. The dancer in you is still alive. Yeah. Here I am. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I love them. But I do think a lot of people could do the 56 and be fine. And totally. maybe even go to a 2.5 US mm -hmm. and still be able to use it with the DK. Totally. I just hate how dense it comes out with a 2.5. But you're also a tight knitter. I'm a tighter knitter. Yeah. So. Depending. But yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's our socks. That's our sock game. Now I have oh my gosh, two better. garments to show. One I mean, kids, one adults. Why don't I show this first? Because there's very little to talk about. That's a good idea. So this is the Love Notes. I started another one. Oh you got it. my gosh. I am in heaven. I am using one strand. <laughs> it's not good with Rice Krispie Treats. Fur. We're going to have furry Rice Krispie Treats. Um, I'm using Cozy Toes cinnamon sticks and Surrey Mo is it still mohair? Surrey alpaca. alpaca. I wouldn't call it mo I don't know. I, I don't think they call it mohair. So it's definitely heavier than your lace mohair mm -hmm. that we typically sell. Um, I do have to get more of this in the shop. Um, I this is like this to me Luxury. is holiday. Oh yeah gorgeous oh, yeah. sweater. Mm -hmm. I love it so much. So provisional cast on. So the neck is not going to be this wide. You're going to decrease and do that at the end. Mm -hmm. um, this is definitely, who designed this? Well, Tin Cannons. Oh, Tin Cannons. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Um, it's designed to be a little cropped and three quarter length sleeves. That's my first one. Mm -hmm. Would you wear that one quite a bit too? I do wear it a lot, but I wish it was longer. Mm. Um, I love the feel of a love note. They're so like a cloud, mm -hmm. um, especially with the Surrey. Like I just I can't get over how luxurious it, it feels and looks. It's unbelievable. It is. It really is. Um, but this one, I am going to do a normal length, not not long, but just normal waist, maybe hip. Yeah. Hip length. Probably whitest part of your hips. And I'm going to not, I think if I remember right, you decrease the sleeves kind of quickly with a very little cuff. Mm. I might. Oh, so like a balloon sleeve ish. A little. Ish. I ish. think so, mm -hmm. yeah. So I think I'm going to try to do a little more traditional. Mm -hmm. Not a huge cuff because it wouldn't look good. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Now tell me this, are you alternating skeins? I think No. I, okay, I was gonna say, I think I knew the answer. No, that. and I, I always alternate skeins, but because this is a little thicker, mm -hmm. it's really taking on a very, I, there's just no need. Yeah, yeah I don't I think, totally unless. I think with a speckled skein, I, cause I'm almost, I'm trying to like workshop what colorway I would wanna do, and I, I am leaning towards sage, but if it's a tonal, I feel like that could be tricky. It could be tricky. So I might need to pick a speckle instead. I could see it in whisper mm. with a with a soft gray mohair. That would be beautiful. I think that would be beautiful. That would be. We forgot to show these. Well, we haven't shown that sweater yet. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. So yeah, so I love it. I think I'm doing. I always do like two extra large, which I is hysterical. So. But, but you know that. It, yeah, you know that that's what suits your gauge. It does. It need. works with my gauge. Um, I love it. I've split for the sleeves now. It is mindless, mindless knitting round and around. My favorite. Nothing makes me happier. What kind of needles are you using? I am using the only tens. I have real needle issues right now. Oh, no. Because I have them in projects. Oh, I know. And I'm a mess when it comes to needles. I do not take good care of needles. So these are Knitter's Pride Wood. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm not going to be able to... Not signature, no. No, 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 I think they're just Knitter's Pride. I don't think there's a... They're not like zings. No, but I do think there's a... Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't but matter. wooden Knitter's Pride. Yes, so size 10, and then I have shorter ones for the sleeves. So mm -hmm. I must have used it for my other one, too. Totally. So, yeah. This... I would love to think this will come to Must Love Yarn mm. as a model so people could see it. I would... If... You're considering making one, I would strongly suggest 
using the Cozy Toes base. It is so luscious. It's so soft and so mm -hmm. luxurious. Mm -hmm. I would really, if your budget allows it, I would go that route. Right. If it doesn't, the Surrey will give you what you need. For the, it will. It will compensate. It's not like, oh, it won't be nice at all. It still will be nice. Yes. This is just over the top gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I will be getting more Surrey to dye. And for now, I'm going to keep it in just the vanilla Vanilla. Base so yeah. that if somebody needs some, they, yeah. I'll dye it. And email you. us. Yeah. So just say like, oh, I want this yeah. color for my Surrey. Yeah, I think I have a bag or two left, but we're going to be ordering t today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. so yeah, so that's my sweater. I have another sweater going, but it's upstairs. It's really nice. Should I go get it? Which one is it? The Ozetta. Oh my gosh, yes. I think I should go get oh, it. Oh, definitely. Please, please take over. Okay, I'm going to show, I'm going to start showing one of my garments. This one, oh wait, it's right here, is a test knit for our dear friend Natalie of Remembrances Pottery. She designed a merriment sweater, which is a full color work holiday sweater that she released last year. And now she, we are in testing for the kids version. I saw that she posted something on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. I'm a terrible test knitter, like infamously a terrible test knitter i anytime there's like a deadline for something or i know that i have to do it my brain just like shuts down but with this pattern i said i said i i will try my hardest to do the four-year-old size because that was one of the sizes that she needed tested that hadn't been tested yet and lo and behold mm. i almost did it look at i'm right at the very end i need to sit down and just finish it off it would take me less than an hour, but she's calling it the mini mint. It's so, Graham thinks you're like a genius. Oh my gosh. Does she know that I don't design them? She's, she's <laughs> like, oh my God, Chelsea that is so gorgeous. Thank you. I love it. And it was so fast so and fast. so fun to knit. If you have little kiddos in your life or know somebody that does, and you're looking for a gift knit, it is an excellent way to either use up scraps that you have or get a nice little mini skein bundle because a mini skein bundle would probably get you two depending on what size, like how big. I'm going to weigh this sweater when I'm all done to, you know, figure out the total grams, but it's so fun. Natalie, you are a genius. Oh, she's a genius. I love her so much. And um, yeah, this one's going to be for Charlie. And she was so sweet because when I volunteered to do this one, I was like, I'll do it. And then she was like, well, Lily's going to need one. So I'll knit a sample She's for her. She's just so kind and thoughtful. World. And yeah, so I'm, I had such a blast knitting this and I just have two more color work sections before I bind off. And then I can't wait to see them. And so then, wait, so wait. let's talk about it. So Chelsea was designing it and I was like, we should have some sort of options in case people really love it. So what we tried to do is like kind of pick the colors that are the most standout. Because mm -hmm. um, you're going to need some high contrast in colors. Yes. But my God, look at the ends. I know. Oh my God. Oh. It's going to be worth every single minute of weaving them in, but yeah. holy oh. ends. Oh. Anyways, continue. No, no, no. So anyways, so you've got a good smattering of also what I would think gives it a holiday flair. Definitely. If that's what you're looking for. Definitely. Like that was kind of the goal to get that gorgeous red in, to get that gorgeous mint green in, mm -hmm. and then this green. Now I will tell you, we the tuxedo was yes. such a staple for mine. It's that rich purple you'll see, and, and like the, the candy cane bottle. red. Yep. I'm gonna pull these. The forest green or the Kelly green in there. Yes. And I didn't exclusively use our yarn. Like for some of the variegated in between the tonals, I used like old hedgehog. Oh or... yeah. That's the nice part. But so Chelsea was like, you should really, the green is the best. I'm like, oh, I can't stand I dyeing that green. Believe. I was like, oh, I can't stand dyeing believe. But, but anyway, I love dyeing them because I dyed them years ago and I've, I mean, six years <clears throat> later, you learn new tricks, you learn, you learn magic. Mm -hmm. And so now, so my goal while you're home is to do these in full skein. 
I love this. Whispering Pines, that's the old Whispering Pines. Mm -hmm. And Believe, which I put in a deep navy. Which, which I love. love. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, now where's Believe? Oh, Believe. They're so, so good. And I love how dimensional they and are. And I think they're a little darker in real life. There's your they candy are. cane. They are. Yeah, it's getting a tiny bit blown out. Wait, candy, candy cane? Candy apple. Candy apple. Yeah. Candy apple is probably my least favorite to dye. It works so well for it's, this sweater. You need it. And then tuxedo, which I, I love that palette right there. I know. These are our rich jewel tones that just make everything else pop. Yeah. Oh, come on. Help me. You got this. There we go. There we go. And get a good sense for it like that. Yeah. So I'm so excited now that I did dye those because I was like, oh, you were like, you need that green. I'm like, oh no, I don't want to do that. <sighs> it was so fun. It made it. I mean, for the holly leaves alone, I mean, I did a few different. So like, excuse me, I did, sometimes I did the same pattern, like the same color work section, but in different colors throughout the sweater. Come on, focus. So here I used the uh, whispering pines down here i used our mint mint colorway it just gives it a really nice um it needs eclectic to have mint in look it. yeah and here i did whispering pines but i switched up the background color and the berries so yeah so oh and here i loved this section this was candy apple and peaches and cream oh which i thought was so cool yeah I loved it. Mm. So fun. So fast. Yeah. And I think if you have a, like, maybe you take a picture and put it here so people can refer to it. Well, and I've posted it a ton on our social media. So if you have Perfect. Instagram, I've done progress photos along the way. So Perfect. you can really zoom. Because the colors are pretty ident identifiable. Yes. Is that a word? Identifiable. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. By just looking at them. Yeah. It's, oh my God, I just love it. And the pattern's coming out in the fall. So just go over, follow Remembrances Pottery on Instagram if you don't already. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if she has a newsletter or not. Either way, just keep your eyes peeled. It's a fantastic pattern. It's coming out soon. Get your palette ready. Yeah. And that's yeah. another thing with this. I As I was thinking about it, it was like, if we could just get these, and then if you have variegated minis, like if you have a nice little bundle of minis or leftovers. That you want to pop in there. That was the most fun part, honestly, was mm -hmm. when I was getting to, every time I got to the next color work, work section, I would pick out a really rich tonal, and then I would go scouting. Mm -hmm. I think the idea is to have minis in front of you, because I know for some people, it's very hard to do that totally get that. like i think we take for granted that that's just how like we know color mm -hmm. but some people get very intimidated by it but try not to because that is such a mix match of colors that you would never think like be adventurous well and the other cool thing about natalie's patterns which i love is that she like names the motifs kind of so like i think this was called like the poinsettia motif so knowing that it's meant to be a poinsettia you can really kind of say like okay i know poinsettias can be red or they can be white and the centers look like this if you need that that direction which I even found helpful honestly. I need a starting point mm -hmm. I'll be honest I need a good solid starting point and then I can go is that flashing for a reason? it is the battery's gonna die but we have another one so oh, we'll just pop it right phew. in um and then yeah. this is like the cozy sweater section this gray here so when I saw cozy sweater I immediately thought gray and then a nice soft in between so it's definitely uh, and then the bobbles, I just thought of like really fun ornaments and I don't know. I think you'll find your way pretty easily with mm -hmm. all of the uh, the things. Yes. And I think if, if you're someone that is a little intimidated, focus on the pictures that you've done. Mm -hmm. Just And it doesn't mean, oh, you're going to copy it exactly, but you can say, oh, I like green there. I have this green I could use. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so totally. I can't imagine anything not looking good on there. Because it's such an amazing pattern. And honestly, like, I could even see this in two colors. Like oh, vanilla bean yes. and get a full, two full, one or two full skeins of one of our brilliant mm -hmm. jewel tones. It'd be stunning. Yeah. Or pick your three favorite. Like, I was actually tempted to do that because Charlie Charlie's favorite colors are blue and purple. And I think she would like a little green in there. Mm -hmm. Doing that with just, like, really, like, muted. Mm -hmm. It, it the possibilities are, are huge. Endless. I kind of want one. Oh, I want to knit a, a Merry Mint just for the process. Alone. Same. It's Same. so fun. Same. 
I love it. The best. Okay, the best. we're gonna switch the battery. Switch and then batteries. We'll be back. Okay, bye. We'll be back. Because I know we're gonna start a conversation. This gonna be like. Ugh. <laughs> I know. I'll cut it out. Um, at the end we're gonna do a thing about the lamp. Who should we just put it on? We can say. I feel like as we're signing off, we can just be like, "Stay tuned for a review of our." That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It was an emergency and we both needed this now. We're really hungry. They're so good. We were ready to do this at like 9 o'clock this morning. Now what time is it? Like 12? Noon. But that's what happens. I know. We get so distracted. I know. It's okay. Okay. So the very last thing that I have to show knitting wise is super fun. You haven't even oh. seen it in person yet. No. It's And gorgeous. then you have to show. I have do you want to show your sweater first? No, you go first. Okay. Tuck this back in. I'm actually gonna tuck my socks back in so I don't forget them. I should be tucking everything back in. I'll I tell you what, it was here. so fun packing knitting for this trip. Cause I have so many things that are so close to being done that I'm like, I know if I just have like an hour and we're sitting down watching a show, I can just rip it off well, and be done. Even last night to just sit. Oh my God. And even, I mean, we do that when the girls go to bed, but it was even different. It's just different. Yeah, it was different. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, okay. Dad's watching Peaky Blinders. We're watching Peaky Blinders. I'm not. It. Well, you were. I kind of. You oh, were following. I definitely. And I'm. I'm liking it. I just can't commit to every night watching TV. Oh my god. I am in love with Thomas Shelby. So I think he's the guy. He's the guy. Mm -hmm. So handsome. The blue eyes. But he's just so handsome. Ugh. Yeah. But he's happily I, married with two children. Don't worry. I always so look at you. I know. <laughs> Do you have to remind me? No, that's just poof. The dream is Should gone. Should we talk about, okay, let's just take one minute to talk about something we found this morning in a box. Which thing? Because there were many. There were many. The journal, the, my very first diary. Do you want me to, should I do a recitation? Do just the one page. I'll be right back. Oh my God, you guys, like. <laughs> a, I don't remember you being that in love with this person. Well, of course I am, I guess. I mean, I, was, I knew I was, but I even didn't remember the level I, of obsession. Yeah, like there was an awareness. He was adorable. Did we watch that show a lot? I, we must have because I wrote about it. I know. I oh was God, going to they're watch hysterical. That she thought she'd throw them out. Okay. Uh -uh. Are we ready for this? Uh-uh. It's so <clears throat> weird. First of all, show what it says in the front oh, cover. Oh, don't you even work. We're and doing this. And then, of We're course, doing this. We're doing it. Of course, it's The Lion King. You loved The Lion I loved King. I love The Lion King. So this is my very first diary. I started it in 1996. So how old were you? There's a lock. Ten. Ten years old. Mm-hmm. And that seems... Well, well, I probably wasn't 10 yet because this is okay. the summer of 96. How did you get it open? Because it's not a real lock. I mean, I think it was. I think if I had the lock now, I could go like this yeah. and it would lock it. But it had, I mean, well, y'all probably I, know this. It this didn't was, need a lock. What it said on the first page was frightening. Listen, you took your life into your own hands if you opened this thing. So <laughs> it was Jacob's mouth fell open. <laughs> I should be embarrassed, but I'm not. No, you're not. I'm not. Don't go any further. Oh, hang on. Let me focus it. Don't go any further. If you do, you die. <laughs> with you a are... with a smiley face. <laughs> I was like maniacal. And you weren't. That's the funny part. You were not at all. And like, let's just wait until you hear the information I was trying to keep private. Look at You crossed out him and put him. Leo took the top spot wow. after a while. So <laughs> are we ready for this? JTT, Jonathan Taylor, Taylor Thomas, Thomas was my first love. But as I grew <laughs> and I learned about Leonardo DiCaprio, he was well, quickly replaced. because he was on that show, Family Ties? He was on Family Matters. Family Matters. I'm on the other half. Go I'm ahead. Starving. I'm the other half. So that's the intro to me as a nine-year-old. Yes, this is March of 96. March 2nd, 1996. <clears throat> I love JTT so much that I would do anything to be able to act on home improvements. <laughs> and then it goes into what my who my cousin Lindsay loved, which these are actual people. So I'm going to remove yeah, we that should, information. We, sh we shouldn't have that information. We should. And then it said bye. <laughs> and then it said, P.S. Lindsay, my cousin, is a great piano player. <laughs> but don't you dare read this or you will die. It's oh, wait. Hysterical. There's another really good one. Oh, March 3rd. Oh, wow. I was really 
We wrote a lot. Okay. March 3rd, 1996. I am so annoyed at my brother. You know what? I wonder if that was Ben because it was the day before his birthday. Could be. She was annoyed. He said I closed the door on him, <laughs> but I didn't. So I got blamed. Of course she did. Right now, I'm watching Avonlea. Avonlea? I, I, it rings a bell, but I don't know what it was. Tomorrow, I have to go to school. Bye. <laughs> I love it. This, this is what we were doing for two hours instead of podcasting. This is the bad part about what we're doing is the reminiscing. Oh we found the album of me when I was a little girl. Do you want to tell them about how we were looking at your prom photos and didn't even realize that dad was standing right behind her? We were too focused on her yes. boyfriend at the time. So, <laughs> so there he is. He's Dane. so handsome. <laughs> oh, dad, mom, there's, there's your husband. He was pretty handsome too. Dave and I went to the prom together, but not together. Right. They we were sat friends. at the same table. I know our so dates wild. were good friends. And I, and I find that dad. even more wild. Oh, best friends. That's wild. So to yeah. Me. So <laughs> so yeah. So there's a picture of the group in front of Graham's house, and I remember. Oh gosh, I I kind of remember that. All right, we're back. I should probably look at my phone in case Justin's looking. <clears throat> okay, are we back? Dad's running to pedal power with Winnie. Oh, good. How come we can't see? It's backwards. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, there. There, there we, we are. are. Okay, so continue. You were standing in front of Graham's house okay. and you were taking a group yes, photo. Yes, so we were taking a group photo and it was, it was a friend. I don't even know why I was with this other girl. Yeah, who was the third couple? Um, I, I gotta look at who the guy was. I know the girl. I won't say it out loud because who knows? Mm. We don't know who's watching. Mm, you too. <laughs> but then me and my date and then Dave and his date. But if you look at the picture, like I'm way over here. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, like my So date, if I'm dad, okay, this I'm, is mom right here. Like here. And mom's date's like <laughs> over here and dad's date's like right here. It was like their wedding photo, but like 20 years ahead of time. It was hysterical. But it was so funny. Sorry, Rachel's texting me. Mm. Um, it was so funny because we didn't even notice. <laughs> Literally, like we, we had we, like full five minutes. So we oh, were yeah. talking about your boyfriend and how cute he was. He was so handsome. Who did we say? Matthew McConaughey looked a little bit like. And my mom goes, oh my God. Oh my gosh, Dad! There's Dad! It was hysterical. like what? <laughs> hysterical. Oh my god, I'm hysterical. So that's what we were doing. This that's morning. what we were doing. So here, now that you have the whole rundown, oh, look at this. I'm gonna need your help. I'm not gonna need your help. You're in Tarja ing it. I'm in Tarja ing. She's in Tarja ing. I'm all about making things into verbs lately. I like that. Yeah, I'm really, Rachel and I are really about it. So the trickiest part about this, the hardest part about showing it is that it rolls because it's, uh, okay. The pattern is the Moon Crush Tank by Jacqueline C. Slack. It's amazing. It's so much fun. I'm using the same yarn as this, the non-superwash non -super merino. merino fingering. It's so gorgeous. Luxurious, super cool for the summertime. Like, I was not joking when I said I wear these all the time. Yeah. I wear them all the time. So I'm excited for this one. I'm a little nervous it's gonna be small, but I think blocking will be okay. No, it doesn't look small to me. I think blocking will do wonders. Oh, yeah. I don't think it looks small. I think it'll be okay. I'm knitting the size two. I kind of wish I had gone up a needle size, but here it is. And it's Intarja, my very first Intarja project. Intarja, I don't even know how to do. Except mm -hmm. now you taught me. Yeah, neither did I. It's all about the twisting of the yarn. There's something about the word intarsia that's very intimidating. Absolutely. I'm gonna show you the back of it. It's all about the twisting. And I watched a Yarnspirations video. Um, I just kind of, it was one of those things where the project that they were showing, that they were sampling, was very complicated. It was like a house plant with leaves and white space in the back. So like they had, they showed you how to do like the bobbin part where oh, if no. you, yeah, and that's where I was like, oh no. No. But then, to me, then you duplicate stitch. If you want to put like a picture. You would duplicate stitch the whole thing. Yeah. Then. 
yeah but so but then I, I just started I literally was looking at the chart I was looking at the video and I was like I can't think about this anymore so I cast on and I went as far as I could before I hit the chart and then when the chart got when I got to the chart part um the rolled edge isn't it so beautiful it's Rolled a folded edges are not easy folded hem love it um and so then when i got to the chart part it was perfect because i ended up hopping on a twitch live with the patreon community and a few other people that subscribed there um and they helped explain it to me and i know stacy watched it of stress nuts because she just started her own we were yes. both in that same sticky spot where we were like oh my god this chart looks so intimidating yeah but once you know what it's saying it's so easy but you both are very good knitters well thank you you are I like to think that I wouldn't not try something. That's the piece. I feel like you're still at that time in your life where you, like your brain is so open to not mm -hmm. go, oh no, it looks too hard. Right, right. I'm I'm teetering and I don't like it, so I keep pushing myself. Well, you have it. me though. If you're like, yeah. I want to do that, and I but I don't want to learn it. I yeah. will teach it. Then that's kind of it. I have to just admit. cut to the quick. Yeah, like enough of the chatting about it. Just show me exactly what to do. Just do in it in one step. Mm -hmm. And then I can do it. It's, it's oh, more the process. Yes. So I had the biggest part that I learned from that Your, Your Inspirations video is the person that was showing it said, you always want the new color to go under Underneath. the old color. So say I was knitting on our on the buttercream frosting part and I was knitting, knitting, and then I had to pick up the peaches and cream. The peaches and cream strand is always going to twist underneath the buttercream frosting strand. And I then you feel keep like going. that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to Unless know. Unless you're doing something super complicated. This was perfect because you only needed the three balls of yarn. There are no bobbins involved. Oh. None of that really intric intricate calculations have to be done for this project. I've done that before. Bobbins on have Christmas you? stockings. Oof, woof. Yeah. It's just messy. Well, and it even gets a little bit tangly with three. Oh, yeah. So I can't even imagine with bobbins. Yeah. But if you have been wanting to try Intarsia, this is incredibly size inclusive. It is a tank top, but I have a feeling you could probably add little sleeves on if you wanted to. This is a perfect first Intarsia project. You, that, like, you were like, oh, I'm starting, and then I looked and it looked like that. Well, because once I figured it out, I was hooked. Yeah, it flies. Because it's so clean. Like, the back of it is so, it's mm -hmm. not like stranded. It's perfectly neat. It's so satisfying. Yeah. And you're at that stage with the girls, I remember this, where people would be like, how do you get so much done? I just never stop knitting. <laughs> and you, but they don't require you to interact all the time, especially being summer, they're on their bikes, they're on the trampoline, they're in the sprinkler, sprinkler. The like gardening. you don't, yeah. yeah, like you don't have to entertain the entire time. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when that opens up, it, it's good. It's very, very good. good. Yeah. Yes. Especially as a creative. I mean, I think it's true for anyone, to be honest with mm -hmm. you. But as a creative who needs to create and has limited time, it's such a gift. Well, and it also helps, too, that I am working full time because there are some days where there's not a lot going on business wise. And I literally go downstairs and I think, OK, what could I be knitting on that mm -hmm. could be used as a sample? Or I can just take the day to knit and I mm -hmm. still consider it work. work. Yeah. Yeah, so I agree, and I wanted to show this too because this was our summer solstice <gasps> oh, I progress love keeper that. from Maria. Yes. Oh, again, Forest Charms. Follow her on Instagram. Oh, I love it. It is her the oh gosh the way she makes her markers and progress keepers. I follow her on Instagram. I actually love her feed so Same. much. It's you should all feeds. be following her. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just. The quality of those stitch markers, of how she picks things, it's, I They're love them. They're stunning. I love them. Yeah. So, yeah. That's my, oh, okay. I should say what colors I used to. Oh, yes. I'm so sorry. Just in case you want to know, buttercream frosting, peaches and cream, and dry roast. Mm -hmm. And everyone that comments is like, it looks like Neapolitan ice cream. And they're 100% correct. Yeah. And it was completely unintentional. Yes. But I love it. Yes. Now, we do do special orders for a lot of our non superwash. Um, the only thing we really hesitate is doing any type of speckling on it. It's a whole different animal. I usually am not super happy with them. Um, so I don't suggest mm. if you're going to use non superwash, I don't suggest use speckles at all. 
um the tonals lend so beautiful the tonals do like believe in all of those although they they aren't quite as rich Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, this is the perfect example. So Tuxedo is a super jewel tone. Mm -hmm. It's behind you. I don't know if oh, you'll yeah. be able to. Yep. But you can't get it that dark. I can't. Maybe someone else can. I can't. So this is the comparison. It's yeah. much more heathered in our non-superwash. Mm -hmm. It grays Not as it out. Tony. Yep. But I will say for those articles of clothing, I would be a little hesitant to use the superwash because of the growth, it's gonna grow. Mm -hmm. This works so, so, mm -hmm. and it's it more maintains. affordable than our superwash. It's so affordable. It's the cheapest yarn so we have affordable. in our shop. Yeah, yeah, so, so yeah. I love it. Me too, I really do. So, my last sweater, which I'm glad I'm pulling it out because I kind of forgot about it. So, I, I need to get back sweaters. to mine. I'm so bummed I haven't my stall What out. I'm mad about is, where did I end? You'll know when you look at it, I, or I, I can help you at least. Think, like. Usually, and it, the stitch is a little different. How you go down into it, but yeah. it's the what's it called? S seasons? Is it Seasons by Ozetta? No, Ozetta. Ozetta for sure. Seasons I pullover. There we go. I love this. And what color are you using? Is this I am using espresso. Espresso bean. Now, is it possible that I'm not alternating? I don't think you were. I think it would be too. hard. Too hard. hard yeah. Yes, I'm definitely not. The stitch, I don't even know how I would make that work. Mm -mm, me neither. But I am a pretty consistent dyer. Mm -hmm. Especially when you know it's for a sweater. Yeah. Like yeah. if you do it all in the same pan, it's Yes. Fine. So I'm not too worried. It looks a little small, but no. Okay. No, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. I love it. I love the knit. Inc like, I love the knit. I can't wait to split and again, just do. I'm really all about... Well, I go two ways. It's either all about the basic simple or major cabled. Totally. Well, There's it's no so funny between. too, because we were just talking about how you're more a cardigan girl and I'm more of a pullover girl and I'm doing the cardigan and version I'm doing of the that. pullover. You're right, you're right, you're right. I don't have it with me. Yeah, you're but, right. Um, yeah. Now, if you're doing the cardigan, you can easily do the swapping. Yes, very much so. Easily. If if you're like, oh, it just makes me nervous, then uh -huh. go with the cardigan. And honestly, someone out there is probably smart enough to know how to... I don't it's know probably that. not even that hard. We just, for me, I don't even have the bandwidth to think I about it. I don't either. Yeah. I can't even, I can't grasp that at all. Mm -hmm. <gasps> uh -oh. you, still you can come down. Yep. Okay. We're almost done. It's going on an errand. Hi, Wins. Uh oh, we have Winnie here. Winnie's here. Winnie loves Chelsea. You go on the bike. She's track. my sister. I already went. Oh, you already went? Yep. Oh, nice. okay. So we're all set. I'm all set. So oh. I made um, my like my afternoon coffee, but I made a little extra. So if you're, it's all ready for you. Always. Thank <laughs> you. Oh man. Winnie girl, come on. Okay. Come on, Win. Want to go upstairs? Good girl. Bye, Winnie. Uh, Show you a treat. Come on. She loves you. I love her. I know. She loves Chelsea. She's it's so, so sweet. She's she really is the sweetest dog. She's just a handful when you get two little sheep. Totally. That's what totally. they are. Two little sheep. But when it's just me, it's like I'm so used because all of our dogs have been in one way or another a handful. So yeah. it's just I'm just so used to it. Yeah. And I swear the more you just let her be, she's fine. The more she ignores you. Mm -hmm. She has no interest in me whatsoever. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I was away. Well, Dad and I, we came up to Vermont mm -hmm. whenever that was. Jake stayed here with her. Mm -hmm. I came home. She didn't even look at me. She was like, oh, hey. I was a little hurt. I was really I like, you. I can't believe she still hasn't even come over to well, me. Because you really wanted her to be your dog. She was supposed to be my dog. I'm not happy about it. I know. She was supposed to be my dog. She was supposed to adore me, lay at my feet. You didn't get that. I didn't get that. No. And let's say, as of last night at 8 o'clock, we've had her for two years. Yeah, she I was know. a 4th of July adoption. We picked her up on the 4th of mm. July. She, We had people we didn't even know who since then we've kind of become acquaintances mm. who live about a half hour away who brought her home to us. The kindest, most wonderful people. And we still like chat. We're hoping to get them together. together. Mm -hmm. But what I said, were you here when I said this? Maybe. Tell me. Um... I should have known when they oh yes when they started playing in the backyard because they were in a car for two days. Oh, I mean God, they took yeah. them. She took she loved Winnie so much. She always says I'll take her, mm -hmm. which there are days. <laughs> um, please please 
And they were so good about, like, you weren't supposed to take them out in a public place because they hadn't had their shots yet. Oh, okay. So you had to be really careful, and she was so good about it. Mm. I don't know that I would have been. I would have oh. forgot. Mm -hmm. But um, when they, they were like, come on in the back. Let's let them run around a little. And they ran around. Winnie was a beast. I was like, God, maybe we should have taken the other one. <laughs> like, I really was going through my head. Like, What was the other one's name? Arlo? Odin. 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 They call Odin. him Odin. That's what they named uh -huh. him. And I thought. Please, come here, Odin. Come yeah. here. No, come here, Winnie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, no, that's Winnie. No. Over yeah. there. You have me. Yeah. No. Anyways. Anyways. So, I feel like we should be talking about. Tell me. Are all our holiday boxes. Yes. Are still available. Mm -hmm. Um, Not sure for how much. We're going to have to have a cutoff time. Yeah, because we're going to just need to have the yarn for it. Yeah, just so we make sure we have all the products we need to put in the boxes. Mm-hmm. Our fall box is coming out soon. <gasps> I've already dyed the yarn. I'm so... I didn't bring any down with me. I can go get it. Oh, wow. We only have 20 Dickens Christmas. Oh, box. that's the best one. No, It's the one we're selling most. Dickens is my favorite. I haven't dyed them yet, but I want to. It's in the dining... Actually, there's one by my computer. Okay. It says... What do we name it? Mm. Mulling. Mulling spices? Spices. Yes. So here I am alone. I can say anything I want. Um... But no, our fall boxes are going to be so fantastic. Soon, Chelsea will have all of the pieces. And so you'll know what you're getting. We're going to show you the yarn now. Um, the Christmas boxes, the Hanukkah box, the Halloween box. There's still some of those. I don't know if you guys have seen. We did, we did show you what products you are going to make with your Halloween boxes, which I really prefer that. I hope you guys do too. Um, and go again, Natalie's feed has them. She's got such creative, beautiful, beautiful photos and photos. Sample, uh, test nips. <clears throat> yeah, beautiful. Okay. Okay, so that's mulling spice. It is so autumnal. I feel like it's not showing up fantastic. There we go. That's it's got some great speckles in there that mm -hmm. I'm not sure you can see. I will knit something with my skein as well. Like, I love Even if the you do rust, a quick swatch again. Bad. Yes. It is really, it's just very, like, seasonally. It is. It really is. I, I love it. It took, it took a while, I have to mm -hmm. say. Um, but it will be exclusive to that box mm -hmm. only. Um, I, I honestly, who knows, but I don't see us releasing them again. I don't either. If I mean, I, everyone who keeps asking, I keep saying like maybe six months, maybe I next know. year at this point. But even then, who, there's it, no real guarantee. It's terrible to say, and I don't mean it because I don't. I lose interest. Totally. I want to go on to something new. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. We'll mm -hmm. see. I mean, there's no guarantee. It won't be anytime soon. Right. Let's say that. Well, and so for this box, you're getting a candle by, oh, I wish I could remember the maker, but it's beautiful. It's a glass candle, and you're getting a stitch marker set, which I don't even think I've shown them to you yet. No. I don't have them in person. Oh. Um, but Sierra from Owls and Orchids is going to be doing a gradient oh. stitch marker oh, set. I have seen pictures. Oh, my God, with all, like, rusts and browns, oh. and they're beautiful. And then um, our friend Martha from... Um, Oh my gosh, there are so many woolens and I know. Um, tough woolens. Tough woolens. How could we not remember that, yes. Martha? So sorry. Is going to be doing a chapstick and a hand balm for us. There's going to be a lot of really fun goodies mm -hmm. in our autumn box and the winter box. The winter box. The winter box. I'm oh my gosh. The winter box. I'm supposed to be sending the yarn to. What did you decide on the yarn? She did. <gasps> I already forgot. I got to look back at the note, but it's going to be. Mind blowing, We're and that excited. one, oh my gosh! I feel like we should we should release. Well, we'll see. Just keep an eye on our feed always. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing I will say to these boxes, I think we've allowed people to buy more than one skein if they want it. If you purchase the box, if you purchase the box, you can say I'd like an additional skein. Yes, in the same base and all of that. What I can even do for the listing for this next one is I can do what I've been doing with the drop down Even and say box only or box plus, plus. extra skein if you okay. want to make something bigger. Because we have had a few people do that and that is that is fine because mm -hmm. you've purchased the box. Yeah. So yeah, so we have a lot going on. 
It's so fun. And we have a brand new whiteboard that Dad got for us at yeah. Staples today. So we're okay. going to fill the crap out of that board. Yeah, yeah gonna you've got to. Mentally gotta... organized, physically organized. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> look at the floats over there. Oh, did you see the new floats? They look really comfy. They're so comfy. <laughs> Is there a drink holder? Yep. Oh, okay. So I could bring a coffee into the bowl? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, so. Someday we'll do work. We will. We Someday. will. We, we will. <laughs> We're the worst. <laughs> this is the bad part. Like, like I get you for what? Three whole days? Yeah. Really Just two and a half. Just me. But it's not, as always, not it's enough. Not, it's never enough. We need enough. more. It's never enough. Never enough. Oh my God, you're having another. I'm so hungry. We might have to go out to lunch. <gasps> No, we have way too much to, Dad's gonna be, Dad and Justin are gonna be like, I thought you guys had so much to do. We do. We do. This is day one. <laughs> we only have one more and then the room comes. They're Thursday. not gonna be here till like late in the afternoon. Oh, you think? But we gotta get this all ready for Ben and Kristen. Oh, you don't know the power of caffeine. Okay, caffeine, we'll do caffeine. Okay. We now gotta we're go. Just, hey. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. It was I so much know. fun to catch up with you. So much fun. Hopefully we'll see some of you in August. We would love it. We August would. 13th, Shelburne, Vermont, Must Love Yarn. So much to do up there. Don't hesitate to plan a little vacation around yes. seeing us. We'll make it worth your while. Hopefully. I don't know. Needles up. Needles up. <laughs> Goodbye.